A great football matchup awaits us for the homecoming game at 1 p.m. Saturday at Gate City Bank Field inside the Fargo Dome as fifth-ranked North Dakota State, 4-0 and 1-0 in Valley play, gets set to take on Northern Iowa, a D1 rival, ranked 12th in the coaches' poll, 3-1 and 1-0 and in Missouri Valley Football Conference action after their 34-7 route of Youngstown State last weekend in their homecoming game at the Unidome. A big change that has paid off for Northern Iowa on the offensive side of the football is quarterback Theo Day, Michigan State transfer, entered into the ball game at Sacramento State to start the second half and immediately led the Panthers on scoring drives of four touchdowns in a row. Day has helped lead UNI to 18 scoring drives in the 30 possessions he has quarterback for the Panthers. And of the 12 touchdowns scored by Northern Iowa, Eight of those have been of 20 yards or more with Theo Day at the helm. On defense, a lot of familiar names for the Panthers, led by defensive tackle Jared Brinkman, the Missouri Valley Football Conference Defensive Player of the Year in the springtime and the preseason All-Valley Defensive Player of the Year here in 2021. Next to him is Tim Butcher, who has been in the backfield all season long for that Northern Iowa defensive front, racking up tackles for loss. Middle linebacker Spencer Cuvalier, speaking of tackles, grabbed 17 of them last week in the win over Youngstown State for his second Missouri Valley Football Conference Defensive Player of the Week award. He's flanked by Alfonso Lambert and Spencer Van Wy, two linebackers that know the Panther defense and have had solid play. Lambert, a big game in the spring against NDSU. For the Bison offensively, you'd love to see the continued success on the ground. The number one rushing offense in all of FCS college football. And there are just two teams in all of Division I action that have ran for more yards than NDSU. That's Air Force and Army, two triple option offenses at the FBS level. And Code Green has been dominant here in 2021, flying around and making big time plays. The number one ranked red zone defense in the entire FCS. Along with that, NDSU leads the Valley and ranks fourth nationally in total defense, second in scoring defense, only allowing 5.8 points per game, and third down conversion defense as well. A sold-out crowd awaits, standing room only inside the Fargo Dome, and the fans can make a difference in this matchup, there's no doubt about it. An earlier kick with the homecoming festivities all weekend long, a 1 p.m. Central Time kick. It's NDSU and Northern Iowa, the 55th meeting between the Bison and the Panthers. 